wake up to this morning hello guys welcome or welcome back to bookmas welcome to today's video i'm gonna be vlogging today kind of like more of a vlogmas video i guess you could say but it's included in bookmas we're gonna be reading a bit talking about books of course but i wanted to show you guys how i make my coffee because i've gotten a few questions of what i put in it how i make it and i've been making this coffee every day for like weeks now like i haven't bought a coffee in so long and it's so good so i'm gonna show you how i make it here is what you'll need first i obviously you know do that and i put in cinnamon cinnamon into this little cup so a lot of cinnamon because i love cinnamon i can't believe it's snowing right now what a wonderful day and then i mix this up and put it into here and then i put ice and then i shake it then I mix that up so that the cinnamon and the coffee are kind of mixed together and I put it into my cup and then I add some ice and then I shake it. And then I add some milk. This is just almond milk and this is what makes it taste delicious. This is from Trader Joe's. It's their oat creamer and brown sugar. I also have their cinnamon bun one. So good. Oh wait, milk first. This is the best part of my mornings. Doesn't it look so beautiful? Taste test. I think it's just this brown sugar with cinnamon all mixed together. It's so good. You need to, you need to try this. Some Christmas, I seriously can't believe it's snowing right now. I feel like the first snowfall of the winter season is like the best. It's like magical. Anyway, I'm gonna stop staring at the snow. I wanted to do a few little Christmassy things today, get in the Christmas spirit, because I feel like I haven't been really feeling Christmassy. I don't know why. I feel like I need to put myself into the Christmas spirit. So I've been reading Christmas books. This is my second one so far. It's a Christmas fix by Lucy Score. It's gonna be in a Christmas like reading vlog, but so far so good. I just, nothing is really getting me in the spirit. Like not even my room decorations, nothing. So today I really wanna wrap up the presents that I've ordered. I ordered a bunch on Cyber Monday for my mom and Chris and I really just want to wrap those up and get them out of the way because they're just in my closet right now and like no one can go in there like my mom and Chris can't open the closet door because the boxes and the bags are in obviously say where it's from or like some of them so I bought wrapping paper it's all pink wrapping paper it's really cute and we're gonna do that today I really don't have anything else planned Christmas wise so I have some work stuff to do that I'm gonna take you guys all along with me today but maybe we'll go get some Christmas cookies that's that's a good way to do it maybe we'll play some Christmas music I seriously I, why am I starstruck at snow right now <laughs> right now though I need to read a bit more of this book. I actually would like to finish this today, so we're gonna get a lot of reading done before I get into anything else. I also have been reading it on my Kindle because Lucy Squirt's books are Kindle Unlimited, and I was looking at my stickers, and these are like so, I don't know, they're giving me like summer vibes. I haven't switched these in a while, so I want to switch my stickers out today. I saw this cute picture on Pinterest of stickers or like she put stickers behind her kindle but there's also like a bow like a ribbon in it and it was so cute and i just got this mistletoe crochet to put in my car so i want to put that in and then i also saw a girl put like bows in her car like around her gear shift thing so cute any excuse to put a bow on something i will like i saw this tiktok and it was like, a little french bulldog and it had bows in his ears and it was just so cute and i wanted to do that to mochi but she i know she wouldn't have it like she'll try to attack the bows try to eat them she's not that calm so i don't know i'm like really into the bows right now i just can't stop putting them on anything and everything so i want to put them in my car today and in my kindle case today but i don't have a lot left i ran out of my white one so maybe we'll go buy some some more ribbon today this is delicious okay i'm gonna go read some more for the other video and then we'll get started on the day and i'm excited i'm excited to have a day with you guys a fun wintry little day ready now for the day put a little bit of makeup on but i did this in my book miss vlog from last december last book miss and i did a little q a section when i was doing my makeup and we've had so many new besties join us this year so i feel like giving an updated like q a or answering some questions that you guys have would be good because my life has changed a lot since last december and the majority of what has changed is all thanks to you guys and i never have any words to describe how grateful i am to just have you guys and that you guys watch my videos and just like care about me reading books and just being in this community is so wonderful i've met i guess virtually and just talked to and seen so many wonderful people and i love being in such a supportive community and all just like enjoying reading together it is so sweet i've made such best friends through this and i honestly couldn't thank you guys enough for supporting me watching my videos you guys are just so kind to me you guys are so sweet so thank you guys and i'm gonna answer some questions i posted on my instagram story i did not look through any of them i said to make them bookish or not because i think last year my q a wasn't too bookish i think it was just more i guess personal so the first one i think i'm gonna start with because i got a bunch of these is how i started my youtube channel and what got me into reading so i started my youtube channel I think it was 2020 i don't remember if it was 2019 or 2020 but i just made a channel randomly because i 
I transferred home from my first college after my first semester because I just really didn't love it there. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I kind of was not in a good place. So I came home and I was really lonely. I think I just honestly needed a hobby. I needed friends. I needed to like do something for myself. And all I did was watch YouTube at that time. Like literally all I did was go to class at the community college I transferred to and watch YouTube. Nothing else. I'm not even kidding. And I was just extremely lonely. So I made a channel and I got really into watching people how they edit their videos. So I started like filming random clips of myself and learning how to edit that way. I didn't post any of them. I just liked to learn how these people were editing their videos. I thought it was very interesting, especially Emma Chamberlain. Like I would just watch her videos and be like, how is she doing that? And I asked for a camera for my birthday and I didn't tell anyone why. I told my dad I wanted to be a photographer. Like I just didn't want anyone to know, but I made the, the channel and I started posting random videos, like mostly like hauls and like challenge videos and stuff like that. Like I didn't have a niche. I just wanted to post things because I needed a hobby and I needed like, I don't know, I was just really lonely and that's why I did it. And I've honestly been reading for like my whole life. When I was younger, I used to read like Junie B. Jones and like the what is it the boxcar children like those are my favorite the magic treehouse like that was one of my favorites and when I was younger I was really into it but then I think like middle school high school like no one was really reading so I thought it was like not cool so I stopped reading but I think it started up again the year before COVID I read a few books and then like majority during COVID I was like okay I need some stuff to do and I started reading more I found like booktube that it was like even a thing and people just commented asking for a book video from me because I would talk about books in my vlogs but I never really like said anything about them and I was like no one's gonna want to listen to me talk about books I really did not think anyone was going to but I posted posted one video I said I'll just do one and then I'll just go back to my regular vlogs and stuff and hauls but people really enjoyed it and I loved reading so if I can combine the two and make videos about it I thought it was just, just so fun I found my passion and I enjoyed it so much and I joined like this community of so many wonderful people like I said and it was just like I knew that's where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do and ever since I've been doing book videos now just some like basic questions about me that I got a few of one major one is if I'm moving out or I plan to move out and just like if I went to college and all this stuff I did go to college I transferred for like freshman year to a different one and then beginning of sophomore year I went to, I transferred to the college that I like spent the rest of my time with I graduated with a marketing degree I didn't use it because I started doing YouTube well I was gonna get a full-time job right before I was graduating I was like planning to work for this company and before I accepted it I was like I'm just gonna put the time and the full work hours into YouTube that I would put into the corporate job and see what happens and if not I have my degree I can figure it out after and I did that and I put a lot of time a lot of more effort into my channel and my videos and it worked out really well and I'm just so grateful that I made that decision but yeah I have a marketing degree I did finish up school and I live at home with my mom my brother lives in the city I want to move out eventually I don't know if it'll be next year I wouldn't mind moving out next year I just I love living at home I love my room here I love being with my mom I don't see anything like wrong with it I enjoy being here but I also sometimes do want like maybe my own space and my own little library and place and stuff but that's like not on the forefront of my plans on my mind and then I have like I said a brother I have two stepsisters and a stepmom and my dad lives in Florida so I'm going there whenever I say I'm going to Florida I'm going to see my dad and we're all going for Christmas time well we're going the 29th so the end of it through New Year's and we're gonna see everyone there so that'll be very fun I got a lot of questions about Chris so we actually met through my best friend used to live on my block and he was best friends with her brother and we honestly would just hang out over the summer the four of us and we were just friends like we were just all four just like do things and hang out and whatnot I just like became friendly with him eventually we spent so much time together the four of us that we started started like talking outside of the four of us and no it's not like the craziest story I think there are a few things like within that time frame that were really cute of us meeting and stuff but yeah we met through mutual friends and we've been together our anniversaries and like I think it's next Friday the 15th of December and we'll be together six years we started dating when I was 17 and he was 18 so in 2017 the end of 2017 which is crazy because it does not feel like six years like it literally feels like I don't know maybe <laughs> not that long time flies it really does it does not feel like like we've been dating that long truly someone asked my favorite thing about being a booktuber and i love this question because i love what i do i do youtube full time and there are so many things i love about doing this and just booktube in general like this section of youtube i feel like everyone is just so sweet and welcoming and we all just love the same thing which is reading and books and it's just so easy to connect with so many people and everyone is just so open and i've met so many incredible people and i think it's really the connections i've made with so many people through doing this i also love that i can share my love for 
books and able to like talk about it with people and connect with people like i just love it so much like it is such an amazing place to be like i love doing what i do you guys again make it possible for me to do this so thank you guys someone asked my favorite time of the year honestly it used to be christmas time but this year i'm just not feeling christmasy it is a cozy like month and season and i do love the way that like fall flows into christmas but i honestly think like right now i'm loving i don't know what's my favorite time of the year i do love the season we're in right now but i feel like i want to say like the summer into fall i feel like that transition is really fun because it's still laid out for a while but like you're getting the leaves falling and you're getting into like one of my favorite seasons which is fall so i think like that like from like august september and october i think that part of the year so <laughs> someone said i know you're scared of flying but if you weren't where would you most like to go i don't know since i don't like flying i never really think about or like i never really have anywhere that i would love to go because i know i'm probably not going to get there i will say though i'm scared of flying like i've been scared of flying for a few years now but when i was younger up until maybe 18 i was fine i flew everywhere like i've been out of the country i've been other places i've flown so many times there was just like one occurrence that really I didn't enjoy so now I'm just like have anxiety about planes so thankfully I have like done the traveling so I've been many places and I'm very grateful for that but now I think I would want to travel to like I don't know somewhere in Europe maybe I've always wanted to go to like Paris and London yeah I think that's where I want to go maybe Greece I don't know I never really think about it because I just I don't travel so I don't really think about where I should go because I know it's really like when is that gonna happen I don't know someone asked how many Pringles have I gone through I can't answer that question I it's unhealthy I don't think I should be eating as many sour cream and onion Pringles as I have been and one of my plans today was to go to Target later because I'm about to finish my one of my cans from today like last week we were filming our podcast me and destiny and after the podcast like usually i have like a snack while we're debriefing and just talking and i didn't have any pringles left and i was complaining and complaining and she door dashed me two cans of pringles which was so sweet of her but those were gone really quick i have one can halfway done right now so i need to go get more like what is this hyper fixation like i've never loved pringles the way i do right now my mom randomly bought them one day and i ate one with my my sandwich for lunch and it changed my life for some weird reason and i can't stop so not sure what's going on with me and pringles right now uh, someone asked why i like to do yoga i think i've talked about this in plenty of vlogs at this point my love for yoga but i've worked out and done so many different like workouts like i used to go to the gym every day for like a year or so and i really enjoyed it at that time but after time passed and like trying to get back into the gym was really hard like it's hard for me to get a routine in the gym like sometimes i'll wake up and i'm like i'm not going today and then i just won't go because i felt like i was forcing myself and i never want to force myself to work out i want it to be something that i'm gonna enjoy doing for myself so i started doing yoga and i found the studio that i go to last year and it's just the vibe of it is so welcoming and warm and the workers there are so nice and, and when the class starts you're kind of just like in your own world like going through the motions and the moves and i do like vinyasa yoga so that's just like different poses but like through a flow so like it's kind of almost never ending or not never ending but like it never really stops so it does feel like a workout it feels more like strength training like just body strength training and like core work but i love it so much i think just the way i feel after i feel very like calm and it's so nice but also i like to do pilates which is like just like small workouts with like sometimes weights and stuff but not like the machine pilates just like mat pilates i don't know why i just love yoga so much i think when you find like the right studio it just feels really good and i just don't like cardio and stuff like that i just feel like i'm pushing myself too hard but i will do it sometimes it's just not my favorite type of workout to do when asked if i would ever get any tattoos and that's a great question because i've actually had on my like goal sheet for the year for the past like three or four years to get a tattoo i want to get one so bad there's a few that i would love 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 to get i just am too scared because it's such a permanent decision and that scares me like what if five years from now i change my mind about the tattoo that i got but i love the sentiment that getting a tattoo in this time of your life like seeing it down the road like it kind of just shows where you were in that time and i love that i love the meaning behind tattoos and like seeing what it means to that person like i just love it so much and there's so many that i have written down that i would love to get i would get like small little dainty ones but i just don't know why i can't pull the trigger and just do it and i have a few that like in mind that i would love to do but it's hard because i've also had like tattoos written down that i would love to get like from years ago and i couldn't even imagine if i got those like now if i would hate it or not i just like can't i don't know it's too permanent and i know there's like laser removal and stuff but i just i'm so scared but maybe this year or no maybe 2024 will be the year i get a tattoo i really i would love one someone asked me if i think reputation tv will be released on new year's listen i don't know there's always so many theories and every time i see one like on tiktok i always believe it like i will never put anything past taylor for all of these and the swifties make it so believable 
unbelievable like i can never come up with these theories but like them explaining it i'm like yeah no that's gonna happen and with the last few it didn't happen so now i'm nervous to say yeah i think it's gonna come out on new year's but listen i hope it does i hope she announces on what new year's day is that what everyone thinks it's gonna be that would be iconic rep is one of my favorite albums and i think the vault songs from that one are gonna be some of my favorites so i'm really excited about it i'm also just kind of nervous because i don't know when it's coming out i feel like we're all just like sitting here waiting anticipating new year's when we were anticipating her last show we're now anticipating new year's so i am hoping it does come out then at that time i think that would be great timing and i really cannot wait for the album people were also asking me my favorite taylor swift song and i think that's the hardest question you could ask me i feel like her songs are just like such mood songs and like her albums are like when you're in a specific mood you pick that album but right now i would say i'm in a evermore mood i feel like with the weather and like the snow and the winter time coming i feel like i always listen to evermore and like the slower songs but i feel like when it's summertime i'm listening to like lover and i don't know folklore but i feel like it's just like that day that time what i want to listen to is what album i do but maybe i'll give you my favorite from each album maybe that could be kind of fun let's see so if we start with debut oh gosh i don't know this is where it's about to get really hard i think i would say picture to burn i remember like vividly being young listening to picture to burn favorite list and speak now when i was younger were my favorite ever like how do you pick literally how do you pick i think i would do the way i loved you or white horse because white horse when i was younger was my that was my song speak now <laughs> i like remember speak now i would put it in my little what is it cd player like it was like a boom box cd player i would put it in there and i had the little pamphlet from the cd like package with the lyrics on it and i would sing them in the mirror to myself this album i just loved this this was my favorite or mine i don't know there's so many good ones on here i think my favorite on red is begin again or obviously all too well and then 1989 is hard there's so many good ones i think just being a hairy girly i love out of the woods and style like those are good ones but i do love i know places i love you are in love me naming every song <laughs> rep it's dress i love dress i'm a dress girly i cannot wait for the re-release of dress lover i honestly think the archer or cruel summer those are always my go-to's on that one folklore can't choose i'm not choosing like there's absolutely no way the whole album evermore also how do you choose i think tolerated or right where you left me tolerated was my favorite or is one of my top top favorites and then what's left midnights maroon and the great war are like my top favorites from that listen that could all change tomorrow that's like me right now how i feel but people were asking me how like my middle school high school experience was i actually had a pretty big group of friends in middle and high school and we were with each other from like elementary school until high school graduation i'm a different person than i was graduating high school but i had a good high school experience i also danced from when i was like four till i was 17 so my dance classes and my dance family and like being there majority of the time like i spent more time with my dance friends and people than i did like with anyone else so and after like leaving dance and like going to college and senior year i didn't dance i missed it so much like that was like one of my favorite times growing up is in the dance studio because those were like my closest friends okay so i think that's all the questions i'm gonna answer for today's video i'm gonna go try to read a bit more of my book because i want to finish that soon and then i want to wrap my presents like i need to get that out of the way because i can't keep looking at them i'll show you the state of my closet it's a mess but my bed looks so cozy right now let me show you look how cozy it looks i cannot wait to go sit in there because i still have my pajamas on right now i'm gonna go into that bed and i'm gonna read my book and then we'll wrap some presents i'm gonna be so honest i don't think either of them watch these videos and if you're watching right now guys please don't watch because i'm gonna wrap some of your presents so but i want to wrap after i read a bit more so let's do that it also stopped snowing which is really sad i was really excited about that
right now I edited, I uploaded, I was a reading. I did some work stuff and then I went to Michael's and I bought some ribbon and I put up my little mistletoe crochet in the car, but I had no scissor to cut my ribbon to put bows in the car. So next time I go to the car, I'm gonna bring a scissor with me. I didn't wanna come in the house and leave again. I don't know, I'm just lazy. I'm gonna do that next time. I'll probably post a picture of the little ribbons in my car somewhere, maybe on Instagram. I got a big pink lace one and then also a little white lace one. I kind of want to put the white lace one in my Kindle case. I don't know, but I got the pink one, the big one for the car. And then I got another white and black. I forgot what name of this print is, but these are my favorite to put in my hair when I have a little bow in my hair. And then I bought this one. It's a red with gold also for the car because I feel like for Christmas time, I have to have a red festive one. So we'll see what I do with the car, but we're gonna do the Kindle case after we wrap some presents. I'm so sick of the way they were just thrown in my closet. I have a snack. I have my wrapping paper. I think my tape is downstairs. Let me grab that. Okay, I'm gonna preface this. Please don't make fun of my wrapping. I know, we know, I can't wrap. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna try this time. I've watched videos of people wrapping, but for some reason, I can't do it. I don't know why. Oh, how cute. Let's get wrapping. Why did I kind of eat? I did so good. I'm gonna go wrap. It's really silent right now. I don't know why I didn't put anything on, but I think I'm gonna find an audiobook to listen to. I don't know which one. Definitely a holiday one, but we'll see. We'll see what I choose. listen to that one. I don't think I'm in a mystery mood. I'm gonna listen to The Naughty, The Nice, and The Nanny by Devney Perry. It's her little Christmas novella and I've heard great things about it. So I think I'm gonna listen to this one. Also, if you guys have Audible, it is free to listen on there if you guys are interested. So I'm gonna listen to this now. trying to clean up my room. I don't know why I feel like my room is just such a mess. I'm trying to clean it up and I forgot that I bought this like I think it was on Black Friday and it's just been in my bag since I bought it but I have to put it away now but I have to show you what I got because I think it's cute and I also got Chris these pair of shorts from here. This is all little lemon and they're really nice so if you are looking for something for boyfriend, dad, brother that goes to the gym a lot like Chris goes every single day and he loves these shorts. These are the ones I got him and they're like gray. They have so many colors but they're really good quality. He wears them like all the time. Anyway what I got this is for my yoga classes that I haven't been to in a little bit because I've been so busy but I got this little tank top it's like a maroon color but I like this one because it's not cropped and I don't really like wearing cropped tank tops too much so this one honestly fits the length perfectly with the leggings and then it's my favorite sports bra from them it's called the energy bra I got it in black because I have it in white and I have it in like a gray black color but I don't have like a plain black and then I just wore this actually to yoga the other day this is my newfound favorite tank top that they have because it's thicker and has like a built-in bra and I love the material of it but I got pink because I thought pink was really cute. Black Friday haul. I didn't really get anything else for Black Friday. There was like no good deals going on. Like all the stuff I got from Lululemon, like I got it on Black Friday in store and paid full price for it. So I didn't really shop for myself. I just did Cyber Monday Christmas shopping for everyone. You know what time it is. It is Kindle switching time. I think I'm just gonna take these all out, lay out all the stickers that I have. I have just like bags of stickers here and then choose some to put in here with some ribbon. I don't know which ribbon I want to do yet. I feel like I have to do like a thin a thin one just because there's not a lot of space on the kindle but we'll see i think i'm gonna play around with some of the stickers and see how i want it set up and i'm really excited i love switching my kindle stickers i forgot like that you can do that like i forgot that i even had these stickers on here so i'm excited to give it a new look a new aesthetic so here's the before now let's go through all of these stickers i'm gonna lay them out and just kind of put them together on my little nightstand over here laid out all my options. I honestly don't know what vibe I want to go for. I feel like I have a lot of pink, but I don't know if I want to do pink. I don't know. I'm just going to throw some on the back of my Kindle and see what I come up with. Honestly, it's just kind of like a, does this look cute or not? I'm just going to play around with it. Okay. 
Okay, I think I did it. Doesn't this look so cute? Look at the bow. Would I love it? Okay, I'm gonna try to put my case on and see how to figure this out, how to put the bow in the case without it like moving around. But I put a Harry Styles one and then that one's the But Daddy I Love Him. That one says will be all right, but it's really shiny. So you kind of can't see the words. And then she's a Taylor Swift song, House of Weather Park, Harry and Niall Polaroid, and then No Mourners and No Funerals from Six of Crows. I think it looks cute. Okay, let's try to put the case on. Okay, I need to kind of play around with it because I don't have double-sided tape and I should have bought that today while I was at Michael's. I forgot my case kind of has like a gaping in it so when i like hold it straight the stickers kind of fly around or at least the small ones do this is what it looks like this one's the one that's flying but i think it looks and this one like the two small ones are like not staying still so i need to get double-sided tape but i think it's cute right now like the vibe i'm kind of going for but i need to play around with it and buy double-sided tape but fits the vibe for right now i feel like the other one was so like summer cowboy you know when i was in my cowboy era and i guess i'll put the ribbon in my car tomorrow because i don't think i'm going back in my car i wanted to go to target today to get pringles and stuff i don't know if i'm gonna maybe i will but this is all i had to do today i do have a couple more work things i need to do i need to go answer an email and a few of those things and continue listening to my book but i'm gonna go put the presents away because they cannot just sit right here i don't know where i'm gonna put them maybe back in my closet <laughs> my closet's a mess i think i need to clean my room now I have to go read my card. Hello guys, Chris just left. We hung out, we watched Squid Games, but like the challenge, I think it's called. He started watching it and he watched like the real Squid Game show. I never watched it, but we put on the challenge. It's like real people playing Squid Game games. I don't know, very interesting. It's like, I'm, what's the word? Adrenaline? Watching them, like seeing if they're gonna win or like whatever, do the challenge. Anyway, I've been making a December TBR because the reading vlogs are gonna be done tomorrow for book miss. So now I have some books that I just wanna read in December. And I have a bunch from the TBR video I made with the advent calendar, but there's a few other books that I just wanna read like on my own this month and have some fun ones like Crescent City. I wanna read the first one really bad. I also wanna finish Renegade Trilogy. So I wanna read Supernova and I also wanna read Finale from Carvel and like finish those off for the year. And those are like the main like exciting ones that I have that I really wanna read. And I'm so excited. I don't know when in December I'll do that, but I'm so excited about that. But I finished the Christmas fix tonight too. I think I'm going to start this book, Kingdom of the Sweets. It's a nutcracker retelling, like fantasy retelling. When I was younger growing up, like I danced, like I said. So I loved the nutcracker every year around Christmas time. We would see it like on ballet and stuff. And it's really like my favorite when I was growing up. So I saw that this was one of the choices and I like screamed that it was a nutcracker retelling. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to start this tonight and I searched it on Spotify my new favorite not my new favorite app because i love for obviously music and podcasts and stuff but for audiobooks i've been eating it up and i searched this and it's on there but i think i'm about to like surpass my hours for the month because i've been all i've been doing is just listening to books but i think i'm gonna start that tonight i'm so excited but i've also been looking up bullet journals because for the new year one of my goals is to do reading journals but i've tried so many that have like printed like prompts and stuff for you on it i think i kind of want to do like a plain bullet journal with just like obviously the dots and i can kind of like draw my own monthly thing and i'm able to kind of create it and color in it and print out little pictures make like aesthetics for the books that i'm reading and stuff and i really want to be like creative with it i want to have it as like a second little hobby to do with reading which i think is really fun because all this stuff for my reading is like just on my computer or my phone like my tbr my monthly wrap-ups my goodreads like it's all like in my computer and i feel like having a physical something with this i think would be really fun and i can't find one that i like i'm on etsy right now searching some up and i don't know like what kind i want i don't really know because i'm like not i never really had a journal and obviously i would need to watch a few videos on bullet journaling, read, reading journaling, and all of that, but I really want to do that, so I'm looking into a bullet journal. If you guys have any good recommendations, please let me know. Guys, we have a guest. Momo, 
Say hi. Always goes right for the garbage. Chris and I also made chocolate chip cookies, which was really fun. They were like mini ones and they were so good. He also brought me a small can of Pringles. It's like sitting on top of the other one because I don't know where he went, but they only had like a mini version and he didn't want me to think he was lying that he only got me the small version. So he took a picture of all the Pringles and in every other flavor, they had the big like regular, but there's literally only one sour cream and onion Pringles left and it was the mini can. And he took a picture for proof to show me that there's only one left. So got that, got a cute little card. It was so sweet. But I think that's all I'm doing tonight. I think I'm gonna... Whoa. Girlie's going crazy over there. Mochi, what are you doing? I think I'm gonna go start my new book. Maybe listen to it. I'm also listening to the... Oh, I keep forgetting the name. It's by Daphne Perry. She co-wrote it with another author, I think. I just found out. But it's only like four hours long and it's free on Audible. I think I told you guys I was starting it. But I have a couple hours left of that. So maybe I'll listen to that tonight and start this tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm very excited about this. So I'm probably gonna just do that the rest of the night. Go catch up on some booktube, YouTube. I need to watch Destiny's new video from today. And that's it for me. It was definitely a fun cozy holiday filled day i'm gonna go lay down with toby maybe crack open some pringles who knows what i'll get up to but also taped one more thing before i go i didn't have double-sided tape but chris took the tape that i have and he made little he kind of made them into circles you guys know what i mean and put them on the back of the stickers to make like diy double-sided tape and he taped them down so they shouldn't be moving around which is very nice and i put the little bow in there and i think it looks so cute i love it so for like the third time thank you guys for coming along with me thank you to anyone who asked me a question on the instagram story maybe i'll answer a few more because there was a bunch of questions in another video i'll definitely save those questions and I hope you guys had fun coming with me today. I had a wonderful day, cozy day, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow for the next day of Bookmas. Okay, goodbye.